Hello and welcome to Misal. My name is Zahed and I'm your host. On this podcast, I talk candidly with the most innovative minds working towards building a better startup economy in Pakistan. In this episode of the Misal podcast, I talk to Asnan Tariq. He's the founder and CEO of Sapiens Inn, a health tech startup that provides fixed fee treatment plans. We discuss his vision of building a world-class tech startup in Pakistan, why patients need more than just a physician, and some challenges he has faced while building a startup. Let's listen in. Welcome to the Misal Podcast, Hasnan. How are you? Uh, thank you so much. I'm very good. Thank you for having me. Can you please tell me a little bit about yourself and like, you know, what is your startup about? What is the origin story? So let's get started with your introduction. Well, I'm, I'm a pharmacist by profession. I graduated like a couple of years ago and uh, I was just like trying to get into this entrepreneurial space. And uh, I started reading books. Uh, I was like, okay, if I want to start a company, where would be a good area for me? And all, I was always interested in, you know, to go into disease management in healthcare. We are a telehealth company in Pakistan. Uh, in Pakistan, telehealth uh, industry is like $50 billion, right? And there are like 13 to 14 companies on, that are already operating in the market. Uh, what we are doing is that we, we, we are giving three kinds of services. One is consultation. Second is we are delivering medicines to the patient's home. And third is like we are uh, picking lab samples uh, for, uh, from patient's home for lab investigations. Okay, this is what every company is doing. But how we are different, we are different from every company in the, in the context that we try to give a team of three doctors to every single patient. Wherever you go in Pakistan, uh, it's a private setup or government setup, you get only one doctor that is managing all your kind of, all, all your things. But here in our company, we give a team of three people. No, in the NHS, they give only two people, like a physician and pharmacist. But we, as a company, we give three people, a, a, a medical specialist, and then pharmacist, and then nutritionist. And we are treating all diseases of heart, lungs, kidney, and diabetes and virus. So that is our one function uh, in consultation. That is our USP. And the second thing is that we, as a company, are trying to deliver medicines in the entire region of Lahore in only 45 minutes, right? There are so many startups that are delivering groceries in 10 minutes, and then in 30 minutes, and in one hour, like Airlift, Chite, or Kmart. But we as a company in healthcare, we're the only company that is doing that in Lahore, in medicines. And we are also working with many national companies to make sure that we get to pick sample for lab investigations in only a window of 45 minutes. So we are your one-stop solution for your all healthcare needs, your consultation, your medicine, and then your uh, 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 lab. Can you tell me a little bit more about like how many doctors are you on your platform? How many patients are you seeing every single day? Uh, what does the volume look like? So we have eight teams right now. Uh, they're like of three people. Uh, like, like there are three people, there are three medical professionals in each team. And we have like two diabetes team, three, car- uh, three cardiac teams, one nephro, one pulmo, and and, and like this. And uh, we are just starting our operations. We, we we had a very successful beta testing and now we are just like trying to get into, into this space. Uh, we just became operational with our consultation services a couple of days ago. Uh, but with the with the medicine services, we are we are getting some revenue. We are getting customers on the, on daily basis because uh, it's like a total different stream of revenue. So it had to be you know dealt in a very different way. How do you get patients basically? How do you how do people come to you? Is it through the website? Is it through Facebook ads? Is it through Instagram? Like how does that work? How do you market your services? The first the first few patients that we have gotten so far is that you know we 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 started making calls you know word of mouth and and all these references. But we are highly relying on uh, uh, Facebook ads because you know, most of the population is sitting there because, because of the certain age of the diseases that we have. Uh, and, and our ICP is, all, is already on Facebook and Instagram. So we are working with a couple of uh, digital marketing agencies, you know, just to get our message across. And uh, because we have very aggressive goals in for first few quarters. So we are going to rely on Facebook, Instagram, uh, and then perhaps at, at some point uh, on SEO marketing, right? Because it's it's a bit long term kind of thing. Um, I'm I'm more focused on what we can achieve in short term or uh, in, in first quarter. So for that we are using referral model. We are going for client consumer testimonials. It's just like you know a, a very continuous and, and and a very chronic long series of like how we are going to get, get a, a customer. Uh, hooked to our services. So have yeah. you uh, tried to raise any funding so far? Like, or have you already raised any funding? I haven't yet. We have like bootstrapped. I have, uh, I'm looking forward to go to the funding phase because we have a uh, very inherent risk uh, that, that comes with our business model. 
And because we are one versus like 13 to 14 companies right now in Pakistan, we have like very thin competitive advantage and, and you know, it will be great to capitalize on that. Uh, I was recently invited a, 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 a couple of spaces uh, uh, here in, in Pakistan. I'm, uh, I'm in the back of your company. And they were like, okay, how do you, how are you going to scale your company? Because right now, uh, the doctors that are working with us are like very young. They're like FCPS, 10 to 15 years of experience. But obviously, you know, that market is totally different. You know, we, you have professors, you have all, all, all the people who have like 25 years of experience. So, so the thing is like, we are offering all these services on only 2000 rupees, right? So how would a doctor or how would a professor who is like charging 3,000 or 4,000, let alone for their own consultation, would want to work with us and, you know, uh, and, 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 you know, back up the 2,000 fee for the consultation. So as a company, we have uh, a business model like Uber. We, we, we are very sustainable with what we are earning or how we are structuring our uh, prices and how we are paying everyone. Uh, but we need to scale very fast, and I'm and I'm hoping you know just to get in touch with few people so that we can we, we just we, we can have a backup of invest, investment. How do you see the market? Like, what does the market look like in terms of like how can you scale? Like, are you planning to just stick to Pakistan? Are you planning to expand to maybe like you know other countries? Um, how does that? dynamic work for you? Uh, there are two things. Uh, whatever we are doing, uh, it, it starts from homeland, right? Uh, because uh, apparently Pakistan has the most highlighted uh, uh, opportunity crisis in healthcare. Uh, uh, on, uh, speaking on the infrastructure, we have great hospitals, we have doctors, we have pharmacists, we have nutritionists, but there is no uh, there's no backup where, where you are going to get all these people for one patient, right? So there are two strategies. Uh, our our team produces a care plan for you. Suppose if I'm a patient of diabetes, uh, rather than getting three to four medicines written on my prescription that we normally get from any hospital or anywhere from another company, my team produces a care plan that lasts for like one month to one year to three years. Now imagine you are sitting in 2022 and my team produces your care plan that is going to expand till 2025. They're going to produce a series of risk factors that is going to expand in future and then they're going to intervene. So that is our main asset. From day one, we have maintained uh, a relevance that is going to, uh, that, that we can market into international markets. We have Canada, we have like England, we have all, uh, uh, all these places, especially America, where if we target based on single diseases, like where obesity is great, uh, where people uh, are smoking a lot, we, we can uh, absolutely market our diabetes care plan there. So we are at the end of one, first quarter, we are going to run targeted uh, social media marketing in those regions. And then we are going to sell our care plan there. We are going to provide clinical value there. In Pakistan, what my strategy is that, that if you look at every district hospital, it has like volume of medical professionals, right? If we, if we get them on board, or if we create a very localized and very cro uh, and, and and very domestic uh, uh, approach of creating teams, we can serve an area where uh, there are like fifty thousand of population or maybe one lakh of population through the through the doctors and medical professionals that speaks their language but already are serving them in uh, on uh, uh, in, in government hospitals i am going to look into both direction because every week that we are spending we uh, and and we are not capitalizing on our care plan we are actually wasting our time both in monetary uh, uh, terms and both in clinical value that we could provide uh, to a totally different population so rather than uh, you know this that uh, wherever in europe wherever hip is operational you can get that right you can't start a healthcare company in Pakistan and, and you know you can hope that okay my company is going to provide services to the Canadians or to the, to the Britons or to the people who are sitting in America. You absolutely can. Their healthcare is so perfect. But if you create a manual check of all risk factors, uh, that okay, you tell them you are going to plan their therapy till 2025, you can sell that, right? It's it's a bit intriguing. This uh, management services doesn't exist anywhere in the in the world. And we are giving a team of three people that doesn't exist anywhere. Even if you're American or if you're Canadian, this just doesn't exist. So my core vision for our company is going to be a technology company where if we if we just give some clinical information, it tells you how your next decade is going to look. But right now we, we can't accomplish that, right? Because we are in Pakistan and we have like user inflation, smartphone inflation. Uh, your user doesn't want to go to uh, an online service and you know, to check, uh, to, uh, to have them check there. So we have like, we are dealing with so many challenges, 
but in the west it's it's an established service like you have companies then you know that that are now 20 years old and they're like earning so much they're like they're like millions and millions and millions of users so i am going to target both markets and that is how i'm going to make sure that sapiens is is, is like going to make sure uh, is going to make it to palo alto or silicon valley at somewhere in, at somewhere in, in like 2023 when you say like there are a lot of other companies that are working in the same space uh within this market what are some of the companies that you are thinking about? A lot, man. I, I can tell you name. Oladoc, Mentor Health, uh, uh, Marham Dawai, uh, uh, MediQ, uh, uh, I Find My Doctor. Um, I actually meant, uh, you said in the U.S., like there are a lot, lot of other companies making millions of dollars. So what other companies in the U.S. Uh, would you be like, uh, would you compare yourself to or would you say you would be your competitor in the future? I won't call them competitors because uh, we have a d- different kind of business model and we the kind of teams that we are providing. I can't like mention those companies by name. I was like, I have like 10 to 10, uh, I have like made a pitch deck, but I'm so sorry I can't like use the name right now. If I'll be like trying to use their name, I would like me yeah, pronouncing them in a very wrong way. So I don't want to do that. Not now. So you mentioned the name of the company Sapiens in. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that name? Like I just don't, uh, I, I just didn't understand what that name meant i get that a lot and you have no idea pakistan pronunciation uh, point is like it's derivative from homo sapiens right it's a scientific name of our sipishi right and 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 we, we just pick the sapiens right so my vision for us that we are going to plan your tomorrows we are going to save your future we are going to plan your future uh, and and it's like sapiens is derived from homo sapiens what we are called technically as a human being and in is just like you know sapiens in know you're inside the sapiens it's a difficult name to remember especially for a health tech startup because with health tech you need a name that's very familiar and very generic um and so just that's just my opinion on it health tech um uh, at least in the us is very regulated so i don't know much about health tech in pakistan in terms of how regulated it is and how much uh you know, licensing certificates or something that you would need to operate in in the categories that you're operating in. Let, let's just say pharmacy, providing advice and telehealth. So how do you how do you plan on like, you know, taking on that challenge and making sure that you have all the necessary requirements taken care of before you start to provide care? Well, we are personal and we have all, already gone through all the restrictions and legislations uh, in Pakistan. Uh, COVID, COVID, COVID has been uh, described in blessing when it comes to provide clinical value through online forums, right? Uh, right now, there are six to eight companies that just started within a span of two to three years. Uh, in Pakistan, in the in the in our parliament, there is uh, there there's some movement that you know there there is absolutely going to be shuffling some laws, and every telehealth company is going to go through some. Uh, and through some reforms and all these changes so absolutely it will be uh, up here in like a couple of quarters so we every every company will be going through that i'm a pharmacist right so absolutely i have the license to sell medicine anywhere in pakistan uh, uh, what we are doing is that we have combined companies my company uh, is 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 uh, like we 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 have company which, which uh, uh, that provides us logistics and 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 that make sure that you know we get to deliver our medicines in only 45 minutes so we're working like with lots of partners to make sure that you know a patient gets a very holistic service but uh, absolutely uh, whenever it comes you know whenever there's change in loss we will absolutely look into this and we'll see okay how this thing can be done how exactly do you plan on like building your tech because from what i understand is like you are doing telehealth services that requires like you know video uh, and all that stuff right so how does the tech work how many people do you have working in your tech team uh, we, we, we outsource our technology right we we had two teams working on our tech and uh, we, we developed all these things in six to eight weeks uh, and I'm ex- exaggerating it because we, we just did, I think, in four weeks. Uh, our technology is working super fastly. We have a web application where a consumer can log into uh, once they have like fixed their appointment and three people in a sequence will chat with them and then they will give them Zoom links and they, 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 they will have their own clinical sessions with them. Uh, in our application, a patient has the option to upload or download. 25 MBs of video. Suppose if they want to send a, a, a video of their symptoms, whatever they're experiencing, they can upload that video. And 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 the beauty of our startup is that we send the patient uh, educative videos. Suppose if you are checking your blood pressure at your home, or suppose if your if your feeds are not well and you are a diabetic patient, 
my pharmacist from any team will make a video for you with all the instructions and they will tell them the patient, tell to the patient, okay, this is how you should be doing. Now, if you just focus on the literacy part of it, no other company or no, one, uh, no other hospital in any geography of the world is doing this. They tell you, okay, look it up. No, 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 no. We are going to be highly consumer centric, right? We are going to make sure, okay, we are going to babysit you and we are going to pamper you with all these needs and uh, intricacies. Okay, this is our responsibility. We are going to tell you how the future is going to be for you and we are going to take off your future and then we are going to feed you information in the most consumer centric way. Uh, we can. So our application is working super fast. You can order medicines online. You can book, book your sam uh, lab samples. You can do the appointment. And then you can chat with three doctors uh, in a sequence. And then you can upload videos and download videos. So with that, we are working well. But I think just uh, by the end of this quarter, we are going to uh, go for a mobile application, both for Android and, and iPhone. And uh, the, the basic technology, AI, AI based and machine learning, I think we will start developing that maybe perhaps by the end of this year or when we are in Palo Alto. I, I'm not very sure about that. It's a, it's a milestone uh, somewhere ahead in like maybe three, four quarters. But right now I'm more focused on, you know, trying to avail this infrastructure opportunity and, you know, just trying to scale fastly as soon as possible. In other words, your tech is outsourced. And so how many people are you, do you have in your team? We have uh, six or eight people. Uh, 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 we, we, we are using a server from, from a totally separate team. Uh, our web development team is totally different. And, and, and we have like just four to six people right now. And we, we like on the maintenance mode and retainer mode with them. So it's just like working well so far. But having, having said that, it's a, it has only been like a couple of weeks since we are operational. So we, we are into, into, into long-term journey with them. So let's see. We talked about how customers or clients or patients, um, you know, can log onto the website and like, you know, check everything and all those things. So how does that work for like, for example, if I'm a patient, like I go to the website, like what are my options? Like how am I paying for these services? And like, how do I sign up? Like, uh, so for example, you mentioned that anyone can take a video of their symptoms and send it to the doctors on your platform. Why would I do that in the sense that uh, should I be a customer before I do that? Or is, I could be like, the, for the first time, I would be recording myself and sending it a video. So how would that, how does that onboarding work uh, in terms of like you are a new patient versus you are, a, you know, a continuing patient? First, if you are a patient for the second time, we always keep, you, um, we always send you reminders, right? Uh, we know that this is your appointment time. Suppose you met us uh, one month ago and the doctor has sent your appointment like, okay, it's like uh, 25, uh, uh, okay, he has sent it 25th of July. So we will send you a reminder a week before and a day before, that, hey, this is your follow-up appointment and you'll, you'll be there with us. If you are, for, for the first time you're going to our website, there are three things that you can do. Either you can order your medicine, either you can book your lab test, or you can fix an appointment. No, we have eight teams. So suppose if you are, suppose if I'm a cardiac patient, I need to select one of the cardiac teams, whichever I like the best, depending upon which time they are available, or maybe I like user testimonials and all that. So once I have like fixed the time and uh, the appointment, then you can pay us to two, two, two things. We are working actually with a, a fin startup, a, a fintech startup, uh, and we are integrating their pay, a pay, a payment a gateway. But it will take us a bit, little bit of time. Right now we are providing Jazz Cash services and debit card and credit card, right? So you can pay us through that. And once you have paid us, the appointment will be booked. And whenever it is your time, we will send you a reminder, hey, this is your appointment time. And just, just uh, go to your application. And there will be a profile of you where you will be seeing, uh, this is my appointment section, this is my medicine section, this is my, uh, uh, this is my lab section. And you can upload your pictures, you can actually set up a user profile. It will uh, demand a password, it will demand a phone number, it will demand an email, whatever, whatever works with you. And then you will have a profile. You can log in right before, whenever you we send you uh, uh, a reminder. Hey, this is your appointment time, and then it can work. Then there's proper chat section where the team that you have booked your appointment with will be logged in there, and you know they will start the appointments. And one of the beautiful thing about us that. Like the, there's this fly in the market that you know many companies they send their like WhatsApp numbers of the doctors, hey, you know get get in contact with through them. And since we have three people, so if we start doing that, you know our team won't be working with us if, after a couple of days, right? So what we do is that we uh, we send the patient a link of Zoom, 
right? It can open through web and all this. So even if you don't have any application installed in your phone, you can still you know, get our consultation. And so we are just you know trying to work on these little things uh, that for a consumer can be a very beautiful thing. And and just since I'm explaining our technology, we have three you know, three different chat tabs: uh, doctor, pharmacist, nutrition. And then we ended up combining them in a, in a single chat so that you know a patient can see okay who is talking to me because most of the people that we are expecting they are not going to be very tech savvy and they are not going to be very literate with the technology so we are even if we have to we are going to send them a direct line purely in Urdu or purely in generic lines you know that are very uh, uh, very custom with, with with the expression that they can understand so my if if you really ask me, uh, I'm I'm thinking more about the technology in a more consumer centric way, or how our consumer is going to perceive uh, us. Okay, what we are doing because at the end of the day, we don't want to be a company where they are using high fi English or we are using the the medical jargon. No, 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 no. We are using we are going to fix a very high prevalent population of diabetes. Uh, most of them are not literate. Uh, most of them are not tech savvy. So it's our job to, to treat them through our tech portal uh, and, and make sure they get a very great user experience. In terms of um, the challenges a startup faces, what are some of the challenges you have faced uh, either recently or you know, in the past? And how did you go about you know, changing things so that it, you could serve your customers better? Or if the challenge was something else, technical, for example, how did you go about solving it? Okay, there are three things I want to communicate. Uh, right now, we are operating B to C, but before that, right at somewhere like maybe two, two, three months ago, we wanted to operate like B to B. Direct, we wanted to work with telehealth companies, other telehealth companies, and we said, okay, we have these small teams and we want to work with you. And one of the uh, things that happened that we, one of my good friends, I would obviously, he's very senior, he's running a great company. They said, okay, we want to work with you, but at some point we will try to take you over and you know, we'll try to merge two companies. And I was like, no, please don't do that. We can't sign anything like you that we know that will be a dead end for us, maybe in two quarters. And uh, first that was a challenge, you know, to say them a no, okay, we are gonna do this, but we're gonna do this on our own. Second, when we are developing our technology, it was somewhere in Ramadan and in Pakistan, uh, because it's a Muslim country, and uh, not all the people are working every day when it's Ramadan, and because you are, we have you have very limited hours. So when we started working over uh, on our technology, it's it was just like okay, this thing is not working. We we it was like timeline was stretching a lot. So uh, QA testing was not just complete. It uh, it was always you know a round of bugs and everything. So sometime I what I will do that you know I'll get a file at maybe 11 p.m. and I'll send I'll do like QA testing with, with with the person that we had there and we will send them a file back at 2 a.m. So we were trying to uh, trying to hope okay we were going to be operational right after Eid and it was like first uh, first week of uh, I, I guess May but it just wasn't working for us. So I ended up having so much stress. It was like, I, I didn't go back to my family at Eid. And it was just like, you know, I was basically crying. Okay, this thing is not developing. And we are delaying our customer. We, we, we can't reach our customer with this uh, technology that is just not ready. So it was that kind of challenge. And one thing someone told me, obviously we have bootstrapped this thing. They said, okay, go for the equity and go for the partnership. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll take 60%. We'll take 40% of your startup and we'll develop this technology for you. And for a while, it was like, no, 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 no. It's not going to cost us that much. We can do our technology on our own. So I think uh, to say no at every point when you are given an opportunity, but if you focus on the long term, you can see that this is going to be a very dead end for you. And you, can, you will never be able to run this company, maybe. And you will never be able to reach to Silicon Valley, that division I have in the long term. And, and the last thing that is very challenging for us right now is, is the marketing. Because right, Pakistan, in Pakistan, you are so accustomed to one doctor dealing with everything for you that you can never understand the concept of, okay, what three doctors are going to do for me unless you have an exposure of West, right? People who have to be uh, who have been to England, to America, to Canada, they understand, okay, it's, it's gonna be a decision of two people. To, to finalize one prescription or to finalize one diagnosis. It's gonna be a doctor and then it's gonna be a pharmacist. And what as a company we are doing is that we are patching one other member, dietitian, nutritionist, right? We are three people, but to market this idea is a bit challenging, right? So it's, it's, it's going to be an ongoing challenge. I think in a few weeks we'll be like dealing with this thing on a very well 
a note but for now it's it's really is a challenge and 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 the last thing i will say that with the investment now because i am not so sure if we raise right now uh, how much advantage we will have in like maybe at the end of like three or four quarters because we we are going to scale very fastly we know that our solution works in the best way and uh, on 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 the node of infrastructure we are the best but uh, this thing has to be technically balanced with what we uh, with, with what our ambitions are so i think that's going to be a bit challenging but not now i think for the next few hours we are very fine one thing that i keep thinking about when you talk about like having three people on the team is that um, I personally have never experienced anything like this. So I'm trying to understand, like trying to figure out how this, this hap- would happen in reality. Um, so for example, I have a, you know, we call here a PCP, a primary care physician. Um, I go to her and I tell her my problems. If she decides that I need to go see a nutritionist, she puts in a referral and I go see a nutritionist. If uh, she decides that I just need medication uh, and she can take care of things, she will just write me a prescription and I'll go to a pharmacy and I'll pick it up. So for me, when I hear uh, what you are talking about, uh, is this something very unique to Pakistan where people are not accustomed to uh, talking to one doctor and getting a referral from them to go see someone else? Or what is the problem here that you feel that people have to have a solution for? Uh, well, it is unique, not only to Pakistan, but to everywhere. And because the uh, diseases that we are treating, we are treating only diabetes and all the diseases of heart, lungs, and kidney, right? So these are very chronic problems. You need to have a, a nutritionist when you are when you are a diabetic patient, right? You need to have a pharmacist. You need to have someone who is expert in medication, right? So what we do is that in my diabetes team, uh, there's diabetologist, there's pharmacist, and then there is nutritionist, right? So diabetologist develops a care plan for you that is going to tell you what we, as a team, we, what, what for the next three years or maybe one year, depending upon your condition, will be doing with you. They are going to run the interventions, and then the pharmacist is going to make sure that in the next four to six weeks, you don't get to have uh, suffer side effects, adverse effects, or any that kind of thing from the use of your medication, right? And your nutritionist is going to make a very customized diet plan for you for the next four to six weeks. And we are giving all these things only in 2,000 rupees to uh, to every Pakistani that we're dealing with, right? So I we we, we are not treating every disease. We're actually I'm I'm actually following uh, the basic principle of Amazon when they started. They were like, okay, start with only books. Uh, try to perfect this business uh, model recipe, and once it uh, it it works, then you can expand into all these things. So right now we are treating only uh, only that audience that all uh, that has already established uh, the need to have a medical a medical specialist, and then the pharmacist, and then the nutritionist. This is what the books uh, tells. So if we speak to this, this is a very unique solution, a very practical application. Uh, that could be applied anywhere, anywhere, anywhere you are sitting. Like you're an American, I'm, I'm, I'm very sure they don't tell you what you are going to suffer maybe in, in a span of 10 years and what uh, how the GP is going to treat you maybe after in three years, what, what your goals are, right? They never tell you how they are going to fix your blood pressure. And absolutely, they never tell you, they never give you the videos, right? They don't give you the logs, the videos, all this kind of thing. No, imagine that a startup, uh, a, a, a very emerging startup from Pakistan is doing that, right? Just focus on the practical application or just focus on the, uh, on the commercial aspect of our, of our solution, of, uh, of our, uh, our proposed claims. So if you focus on that, if you focus on the merit, we can get anywhere, regardless of you know how much uh, restricted our concerns there are. And that is my vision for the company. You mentioned 2,000 rupees, uh, you could see any doctor. Does Is that like a subscription? Like, does it happen every single month? Or because if you're creating a three-year plan, are you charging for like three years as in like, are you charging an annual subscription? Are you charging a monthly subscription? Do you think it's like, it varies, right? Uh, suppose if you are a patient uh, um, whose, uh, whose disease is very new, we know that we can fix you maybe in three months. So we won't, we will only like, okay, we can fix you with two follow-ups, right? So it will be like a fee, one-time fee, right? But if we know that for sure, okay, this is a patient, uh, 
and it's it's gonna be with us because their condition is like okay there are 10 to 12 goals that we are trying to work on so then we can convert that into a subscription model but later on not with first uh, couple of uh, follow-ups because in the first couple of follow-ups we try to determine okay what is the patient tone is he like uh, compliant with the, their therapy can we really achieve these goals what is the realistic timeline and all these things but uh, having said that, we uh, actually we will convert this from fee to subscription model for those patients who, 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 that will be having a care plan for maybe two or three years. But for now, it's only going to be a fee, a one-time fee. Before I let you go, let me ask you this question. Where do you see yourself like five years from now? I have like very high ambition for this company or for what we are trying to do with the solution that we have applied on, on, on the infrastructure, uh, on the basis of infrastructure. As a company, we are going to develop our core technology and it's going to be an, a mixture of uh, like ai and machine learning like if 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 uh, if, if if you really sign into sapiens in, in like 2026 it will be a company where you just like give them a symptoms and they, that will be able to diagnose you for like next 10 to 12 years they will tell you the company will tell you that the technology will tell you okay what is going to happen to you maybe four years from now so at a certain point you need to apply this solution so I think in, in in coming times we'll be cutting on like more on uh, manpower and we'll like more we'll be like relying more on technology. But this is a great challenge. Even the greatest companies in the world, even the greatest institutes in the in the world haven't uh, even uh, proposed this thing radically. Like there's so many things that you know you have to go through uh, to do, to develop this kind of technology. So I think in five years we'll like highly established company in Silicon Valley and you know we'll be like uh, trying to reach or maybe uh, have already reached uh, have already reached a global audience your plans are extremely ambitious and now I wish you all the best thank you very uh, much thank you for being on the Missile podcast thank you uh, it was lovely talking to you thank you very much thank you for having me thanks for listening to the Missile podcast I hope you enjoyed the podcast and will thank me by writing a review or sharing it on social media make sure you follow and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode thanks again See you soon.